Hi everybody, how are you? I just wanted to come by and say hello before the week starts. Uh, it's been a beautiful weekend here, sunny both days, and um, warm enough that I could sit out on the deck, which hasn't been possible yet, but I certainly enjoyed today. Um, we did a little 5K run yesterday morning to help raise some money for an adventure camp. And today was just kind of a quiet day, doing some recording for the episodes upcoming. And I wanted to pop by and share a book with you. Um, the book is about an owl. And the owl's name is Plop, which always gets a laugh when I read it. Um, Plop is a baby barn owl. He is. And he is like all baby barn owls. He uh, has a mom and a pop and they live in the top of a tall tree, but Plop is afraid of the dark. He is. And for an owl to be afraid of the dark, hmm, that could cause some problems because as I'm sure you know, owls are nocturnal, which means they usually sleep during the day and then go out at night to look for food. So if you think about that, that could be a problem for poor little Plop because it's usually quite dark at nighttime. So Plop is afraid of the dark. The book is called The Owl Who Was Afraid of the Dark by Jill Tomlinson. And Plop is afraid of the dark. So the story goes that Plop talks to his parents about going out with them at nighttime. So he says, I don't want to be a night bird. The dark is nasty, he says. And his mom says, well, you don't know that. Maybe you better find out about the dark before you make up your mind. So she sees a little boy down there at the bottom of the tree and she tells Plop to go down and ask him what he thinks of the dark. So Plop is just a baby, he's not very good at flying, but he takes a breath and he flies down and tells the little boy that he's come to ask about the dark. And the boy says, oh, the dark is exciting, especially tonight because we are going to have fireworks. Does it have to be dark, asks Plop. And the boy says, of course, you can't see fireworks unless it's dark. So watch for them later. And then Plop flies, flies back to the nest and tells his parents what the little boy has said. So they decide they will sit beside him and watch the fireworks together. But they do that and then Plop stays at the nest while the daddy and the mommy go hunting to get him some food. The next day when he wakes up, mom says, why don't you go and ask the old lady in the chair what she thinks of the dark? So he flies down and talks to the lady and the lady says, oh, I love the dark. The dark is kind. I can forget that I am old and I can sit and remember all the good times. So he goes back and tells his parents. The next evening, his parents go hunting again and he sleeps. So he wakes up, it's morning. He goes to talk to another little boy and finds out about a campfire and cocoa and singing. And all throughout the book, he asks several people what they think of the dark. And he takes all of their answers and puts them together and at the very end of the book, he flies off into the night with his parents to go hunting for some food. He does. And it says at the very end, this is my world, says Plop. I am a night bird after all. And he has a cat that he's talking to right then. And he thanks the cat for showing him all the wonderful things at night. So he says, I have to go and tell my mom and dad, thank you very much. And he flies up and he remembers all the things he's heard. 
He says, the small boy says the dark is exciting. The old lady said the dark is kind. The campfire boy says the dark is fun. The little girl said the dark is necessary. The man with the telescope said the dark is wonderful. And the black cat said the dark is beautiful. And his mommy asks, and what do you think, Plop? And Plop looks up at his parents with twinkling eyes and says, I think dark is super. And then they fly off to go hunting in the dark with Plop between the two of them. And here's the page of them flying off in the dark for the first time, all three of them together. So if you would like to read about Plop, the barn owl, this is the book. And I'll put the link for it in the show notes. I hope you have a wonderful week and you get outside to enjoy some beautiful sunshine. Bye.